Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another bespoke beer review for the Beer Connoisseur. And in this one, we're off to one of my favourite breweries, Brew York. Seems to seems to me that there isn't a week that goes by, which I don't do a Brew York beer, but, you know. Um, we have got something that intrigues me because um, of what it's called. It's called Muffin Else Matters. There you go, super smashing great. There is a blueberry pastry stout clocking in at 8.5% ABV. As you can see, there's James Hetfield's Gibson Explorer there. And I suppose that is James Hetfield in Brew York terms. <laughs> so there you go. Um, it says, uh, trust us, seek and I find in you every day for us something new. Open mind for a different view. I should sing this. Trust I seek and I find in you every day for us something new. <laughs> Open my mind for a different view and nothing else matters. Got it in the end. This gets muscovado, sugar molasses, all the blueberry and all the vanilla combined in the super luscious blueberry pastry stout and nothing else matters. Um... What we got, we got hops of CTZT90, malts of pale, flakes, barley, flakes, oats, crystal 150, crystal 400, chocolate, carafe, carafe 3, honey malt. It's not saying anything else. We've got lactose. It's got to be lactose in there. Let's hope it's a good one. I really do. So let's crack this open. Let's see what we get. Subtle notes of chocolate, blue blueberries there, but I'm not picking it up in the can. So let's whack this in, like we do, and we we'll see already. Look at the head. Look, it's kind of like uh, it has got like a lavender tinge to the head. If, um, if you know what I mean, you can see that. Look at that. That looks lovely. Oh, that looks absolutely gorgeous, boys and girls. Absolutely wonderful. Look at that. Look at that head. That is beautiful. Lovely off white. There I say blueberry blue tinge to this head. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It's jet black. The aroma. Blueberries there. Straight away. I'm not really picking up any kind of like stouty aromas or anything like that. But the, the blueberries just there kicking around. It smells lovely. I'm going to go in. So cheers, everybody. There's like a berry bitterness on the front end as soon as you drink it. Maybe even slightly sourness to it. Smoother silk. Hint of chocolate there. Not much. There is a lot of blueberry here for me. Um, and I think with the blueberry, it's disguising all them lovely other flavours. The mouthfeel is very light. It's, 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 it's to die for. The mouthfeel is so smooth and subtle and light feel to this. You don't even realise you're drinking it in a way. Um, it's so light. It's like a little bit like whipped cream in a way. It's in your mouth. You can't really pick up the texture of it. Um, for me, you don't pick up the eight and a half percent. You get a lot of blueberry for me. There is a lot of blueberry there. And I think for me, it's not really that balanced to a degree. I, I like to, when I have something, a beer of this caliber, this this style, this strength, I like to have a nice balance. 
so I can pick up the other flavours as well as a blueberry. But for me, it's just leaning too much towards that tarty blueberryness, which overshadows everything else. Um, if you like blueberry, you will love it. For me, I have to get hold of the can of the Imperial Tom Coco to, to really, really I've, I've never done the Imperial Tom Coco from this lot. But for me, would I buy this one again? No. No, not for what I paid for it. Um, as ever, with a lot of Brew York beers, I love the play of words. I mean, as far as their... Uh, you know, the way they've got their cans and the way they've got their beers named and everything. They've got it down to a T. It's fantastic. I love I love the artwork. I love the names of the beers. Um, when I was in the shop today, I saw a load of brew, new Brew York stuff. And just the names of them just bring a smile to my face. But I love it. And it makes me want to go and pick them up and buy them and review them. Um, so, compared to all the other Brew York beers, is this one, I would say, yeah, I need to try this one again. No. Um, compared to other Imperial Stouts or Pastry Stouts I've had, to be honest, this year, I haven't had much luck with Pastry Stouts. This is a better Pastry Stout um, that I've had for, for a while. Um, I just feel like it's it's a little bit too tarty for me in a way um i just feel it's a little bit too tarty one more for the way but the mouthfeel is gorgeous so boys and girls brew york muffin house matters um give it a go um you know we've, we're all different at the end of the day aren't we Give it a go. Tell us what you think. Uh, murder me in the comments and everything. And um, for me, I was expecting something maybe a little bit more sweeter. But I don't know. Boys and girls, thank you very much for watching this beer review. As ever, you're all stars. Every one of you. Um, if you haven't su subscribed, please subscribe. And I shall see all of you on my next one. And in the meantime, look after yourselves. Cheers.